And the focus of this report is on the payment performance. So this report helps us to address questions such as, are we paying late? Are we paying on time? Are we paying early? And as we all know, late payments have a negative impact because it not only impacts your supply relationship, but puts a lot of pressure on your AP team. The payment time or cycle is calculated against the due date in your SAP system based on master data, that's the actual payment date. For this report, information is merged from VIM and SAP. So we see two charts. The chart on the left provides an overview of the status, i.e. Is, is this company paying on time or late or early? We can see overall we paid 45% on time, 52% late, and the second chart focuses on the, late, the, the invoices that were paid late and how late. So again, overall the company level of, of paying late payments, late invoices late was 52%, Extra information on the right shows me that 30% um, were significantly late, I am more than 15 days. Again, if I want more information, I can download information using this button and I can um, get the actual document level, um, the BIM document level information. So to get a similar snapshot from our standard BIM reports, we could start from BIM, BIM analytics, but we'd have to compare the actual payment date to the payment due date to look at the deltas. So again, probably quite a time consuming task. Now let's look at the user case to consider the performance of PO versus non-PO with respect to the payment cycle. All I do is select my PO invoice as my filter and you can see that it's adjusted to, to um, 3,514 documents. 49% were paid on time, 48% were paid late and of the late payments, 27% are over 15 days. So also an opportunity to identify which vendors am I paying late and why. I'm able to visualize straight away which company codes and supplies are impacted. So this report shows that the company codes most impacted are US 10 and DK 10, as well as the suppliers. From here, we can investigate further, are the payment terms accurate for these suppliers? And if not, why not? And now I'm gonna measure performance of non-PO to compare to my PO. So I select non-PO as my filter, and now I can see that 30% were paid on time, 65% were paid late, and of the late payments, 37% are over 15 days. So this very clearly shows us that payment performance is better with PO invoices to non-PO invoices for this data set, with an opportunity to further target suppliers with poor payment performance.